Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Disco Elysium. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that he chose to join me today as we sing. And uh, we have a drama check ahead of us for, for the singing. The missing insect case has been done, that was last episode. And uh, I've been looking at my clothes. There's no, there's no drama going up. The only drama clothes that we have are, is the bow knot over here. And uh, it's a pretty good plus two. So, you know, it'd be amazing if I could get the plus two. That said, there is something that uh, that I can get, and it's the smokes. Let's do it. We're getting ready. We're getting ready for our. Yeah, I'll 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 sing karaoke with my trash <laughs> trash <laughs> bin or whatever that is. Uh, in my hand. Now, you know what? Actually, screw that. This, do yeah, this doesn't give me drama either. Let's do it. The stage is all set up for your performance. Feels silent. You can hear the pellets creak under your feet. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, since I'm, you know, I'm paying attention to my looks and all that, I suppose... I could dress up in my uh, aspens. What are the ar the aspens? Would they be the Lom Laboreur jeans? Probably not. Flare cut trousers? Probably not. I don't remember the which. Is it the ones that I have? No, oh, it's Falm. Oh yeah. I don't actually look half bad the way I'm looking right now, but the oversized superstars. Oof, that looks good. <laughs> <laughs> those look, I'm sorry, those look cool. I'm a sucker for some avi aviators. Um, and uh, the shoes, no, keep the boots. Keep the boots on and the gloves. Let's go Faln, even though these are clearly worse. Let's go with that. As for our RCM patrol cloak, that would be appropriate. Oh, but then it shows, but then it shows the, you know, the awfulness behind underneath. I think that's the, the typical... Oh, he's looking good. He's looking good. Yeah, but the awful gravat or whatever it's called. What is it called? Necktie. That's the one. Uh, it's just awful. Oh! This jacket. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What a miserable git. And now for the, the headband thing. Yeah, that's uh, not headband. The thing in my hair or hat or whatever. I don't have that many... Oh, I do. What am I saying? <laughs> what am I saying? I have the best thing... Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay, back to this then. You feel a little dizzy. A little unsteady suddenly. So, uh, are you ready for your thing now? Let me know when I should turn on the karaoke carousel. I'm ready, Gart. Hit play. The air is thick with anticipation and I think I rolled exactly the amount that I needed it was that cigarette it was absolutely that cigarette someone dims the lights as the music starts okay here we go I would often go there To the tiny church there The smallest church in San San Though it once was larger How the real may rest there Down through the mist there Toward the Seven Sisters Toward those pale cliffs there I would often stay there In their tiny yard 
I have been so glad here. Looking forward to the past here. But now... You are all alone. None of this matters. No, none of this matters at all. I love how silly the song is in a way, musically speaking. It's, you know, it's just a pop thingy. <laughs> But the performance is so dispassionate, but at the same time, it's like, it, it's, uh, I don't know, I don't know what the intention was behind the voice actor and behind the, whoever led the voice actor, but this feels to me like somebody who knows the lyrics very, very well, so well that they sort of forget to put in the effort for the, for the singing, not that the, I mean, it's just that the performance is, is mostly spoken. There's a term for it. I don't remember what the term is for, you know, spoken word uh, songs. Um, there's, a, like, a technical term. But there's a hint of melody at the end that just sort of... It's like... I mean, it. It's the, the our character is just in it f to say the words, and that's what the song is. And then at the end, oh, right, there's a melody to this as well. I love the I love this line over here. Looking forward to the past here. Uh, wherever it was. But yeah, there it is. Looking forward to the past here. There's a lot of here's. There's a lot of rhymes that go with a here. I mm, it's that they are. It's, it's yeah. It's very. It's a very questionable song, but it's a very lovely moment. I feel. A lazy applause fills the room. You feel your hands shake as awareness of your body returns to you. And we have. A lot of things that we can dedicate the song to. We have Gacht, we have The Pale, we have the RCM. Please don't fire me, that sounds like a good time. I'm gonna go with that uh, for this character. We can also ded dedicate the song to Kim, and uh, I think I did that in my first playthrough. And uh, I want to dedicate this song to whoever wrote me that fucking letter. I still love you, thank you very much, asshole. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny, actually. Uh, let's go with that one instead, yeah. The microphone amplifies your voice in an uncomfortable manner. Someone coughs. Most people have gone back to talking now. Good, good. The cafeteria manager intervenes to cut the moment short. Are we ready? I want to unplug the microphone now. Last words? Thank you, Martinez. It didn't last very long. Hey, Oh, a woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu. Today's start in a men, in a men's handwriting. This game has a very peculiar, not obsession, but a detail that handwriting is is very gendered in this setting, and that leads me to think that it maybe is very gendered in in the native country of whoever wrote this. <laughs> but I just that's not something that I understand at all. It's the I personally, I don't, I don't see, I don't know that. It's not even, it's not that I don't think it's gendered, because obviously it isn't gendered, you know, from a, it's, you know, anybody can write any way they want, it's fine. Um, but it's that I don't even understand the stereotype. <laughs> it's just, I, I, I don't know. But anyway, Gacht? Ah, smallest church in Saint-Saëns, right? The cafeteria manager is waiting for you to acknowledge that he recognized the song. I fucking rocked that shit. It was all right. He doesn't sound like he thinks you rocked it. Subdued. I might start letting people up there again. Now, what can I do for you? Yeah, subdued. Subdued, yes, good night. Or goodbye. I suppose I'm not coming back here to sleep, so... Let's go outside, talk to René. I think I have a mission for him. I'm also trying to click on that door, thank you very much. And it's actually, it's... It's good, it's, uh, it's daylight out. That's good. 
you know, I got to sing in front of all the guests, and uh, I have a smokes out, you know. How much? 50? It only took three minutes. That's great. Let's uh, equip the rest of the stuff. Not that I have any particular affiliation to any of these. It's just that I suppose I like this. It's, it's fine. It's uh, dress. You, you don't need to min-max that. It's, it's a good thing. Let me also look at the map because the... Oh. This is great. The cargo container... It is... I forgot that it was a rhetoric. Check. And because we have a plus one, because another day has passed. Not bad, René. You might stand a chance this time. I hope this is a white check. I think it is alright to do it without Kim. I like playing in the dark. Sharpens your nocturnal instincts. Feels like being on recon again. It is a drama check, but it is a very low check. Uh, I think I'm going to be able to bring it up. Is there anything you can tell me about this rifle? And I'm going to... Uh, maybe... Yeah, I need to do this with Kim. Uh, I, want, I want to ask about the rifle uh, with Kim. So that is a good setup. Uh, I'm still looking for her husband. We will do that in good time. Also with Kim... There's a lot of things that Kim has to be here for. And definitely, that is definitely one of them. It's one of the, well, it's not, maybe it isn't one of the most important. Oh, where are we going? Oh, right, I remember. We're going in the wrong direction is where we're going. Uh, maybe it isn't one of the most important, but it's definitely one of the, 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 the instances that I best remember Kim intervening for. In fact, he can just, he can do the whole thing himself, I believe. I'm not... I'm not 100% certain that he can, but maybe he can. So 57 minutes of smoking capacity. It is a great time to have my lungs filled with this. Uh, so, manana, did I have to talk to you again? I don't think I did, but I always keep thinking that I do because he's just such a central character. Hey. Hola, Wandering Man. How can I help you? You can't. I, those words are, are going to be burned into our brain once this Let's Play is done. Not really. The missions do get a little bit easier to keep track of from now on. What is this? At the bottom, the Union logo and Demand Democracy. Oh, it's my logic kicking in. Oh. Wait. We can level our drama up? Of course we can. Of course we can. Let me just... The file cabinet stands steady as ever, and the unlocked drawer slides out to greet you. The drawer slides shut smoothly. Okay, this is going to take a little while, but I think I can do that at any time. There's a volition check. Now, what I'm concerned with is that volition might be an intellect one. No, it is not. It is a psyche. So here's the thing. I want to level my drama up because 42% is something that, that I can do that in, and because it was just really a little moment, it, I was okay with failing that as a red check. Um, and besides, it, it maybe was going to allow me to see the, so the song and the failure was going to be a nice thing because failures in this game can be a nice thing. But this drama thing, I definitely want to see that. Well, it's, I kind of want to. I definitely want to. But the thing is, I have a smokes up. Um, and uh, I can spend both of my points. The thing is, we also have more smokes ready. Yeah, we have four uses left. So, yeah, I can, I can wait. I can wait. It's all right if I, I don't know, take the smokes. What is that? Oh, it's probably locked. That's what it is. It's telling me. That's uh, that's where... Yeah, this is where we found the photograph. If you're wondering what that whole thing with Renee is. I'm also sort of stuck in here. Yeah, you can't go down through there. You need to go through here. Um, yeah, that's where... Uh, that locked door is where... Uh, the... Um, oh, there's another thing over here. The crypto-fascist lives. And that's probably where the other guy is in as well. The crypto-zoologist. How did I forget his name? Morel. That's the one. 
Kvalsund means whale fjord in Arden. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Good whale fjord. And now in here. This is... Let's see. You're back before the cargo container. Its draw has not lessened since you were last here. If anything, it seems to have grown slightly. Hey there, sugar. The container door appears unmoved by your attempt at flattery. A tough nut to crack for sure, but the strongest containers often have the softest hearts. Oh, really? Come on, don't shut me out. Let me in. The door does not respond to your advances. Is it possible that it seems somehow more closed than before? Oh, I'm definitely not getting in through here. <laughs> That's such a terrible... It says, been in this world in two days. I did get this to open up, uh, but it doesn't get me a plus two. It gets me a plus one. Precarious world. Maybe that is what the plus one is, and it just changes the previous plus one. Either way, that is uh, a 3% chance of success. I think we've done... Have we done a 3% chance? I mean, we have rolled double sixes before, but I think I can uh, I can bring my rhetoric up using my pants. And I, well, can definitely bring it up. I can try it a couple of times. Let's Let's give it a try. So, rhetoric, where is it? It's in a white polo shirt, because what's polo anyway? But also, very importantly, I found a couple of things. I don't know how I overlooked them. There's a lot of minus drama around there. I did have a plus two on drama available to us. And that's why I remember singing with this thing on. <laughs> it's because of the drama plus. Everybody sings with this thing. <laughs> it's just... It looks awful. I'm glad I didn't do it. But it does mean that Renee's check is going to be easier. And even though I will smoke and I will bring my drama up, I um, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what what we do with Renee. Uh, but this one is for logic. Wait. It's for rhetoric. It's not for logic. Colonel, keep track of what you're doing. Uh, and uh, it also means... I, well, it definitely can increase my logic. But because I didn't spend my point in drama... Uh, I can bring it up a little, so well, let's give it a try. And, as it's always been, it's impossible to open a container with rhetoric. Maybe you're losing your mind. I'm definitely not. I'm definitely not. And I can prove it. Let's bring our rhetoric up, because I didn't spend my drama points. Fantastic. Now, of course, we can't try it again. I wonder if I could click on it. I cannot, so I need to knock on the door. No reply. And we're going to persuade the door to open. And as it's always been. No, it has not always been. Let's get another rhetoric in. We can pull this off. The chances are low, but they're better now. Despite the dirt that surrounds and trails you, a beacon of light emerges from deep within you. Hello? Is anybody in there? The door stands silent. Okay. Try again. If there's someone in there, I'd like to talk to you. Just like that, you hear a click, then a rattle. Some mechanism unlocks itself inside the door. From deep within the container, a voice. Ahoy! Come on in! The mega-rich, light-bending guy. Let's go on in. Oh, Sealang. We have a challenging check on Sealang. Uh, that's... Probably not the smokes, though. That's because we brought our rhetoric up. Um, yeah, let's go. Right. Of course. Why why wouldn't why why wouldn't that be like that? What is Do I want to bring my perception up even more? Cuz I mean, look at that, right? Let's see. I can't bring it any higher. I did equip some new things, a sword <laughs> and my ledger cuz the ledger is actually pretty sweet. So, let's find out. Do I want to wear the boots? Yeah. Let's go with these two. All of the armor. 
all of the things. There's a guy in there. The man stands at the far end of the shipping container. It's hard to say anything more about him. You cannot make out any of his details, but you do feel the overwhelming presence of capital. Yep. Look at the amount of money I have. I think it's still 3.0 something, so it's three, I think it changes. It's just bugs out the game. The feeling causes all the hairs on your body to stand at attention, like soldiers preparing for review. It's my physical instrument talking. I'm gonna squint. Something's amiss. The light beams bend around his face and scatter in a thousand directions. It seems the laws of physics do not apply here. They are suspended, distorted, and echo. Trying to visualize the physics at play is liable to give you an aneurysm. Don't think about it too hard. <laughs> yeah. In the general stillness, only your tongue moves, flickering as you utter. Hello? Welcome. Come in. Make yourself at home. Sorry, I'm not better able to receive you. I wasn't expecting visitors today. You can't hear him exactly, yet you're able to understand every word he says. It is very strange. An overwhelming hum covers everything. Voice doesn't escape from him. No. He claps his hands together. What can I do for you, good sir? What you can see of his body appears composed in a sharp summer suit and yacht shoes. Who are you? Who am I? <laughs> oh... I haven't been asked that question for such a long time. I don't meet a lot of people outside my circle these days. Anyhow, my name is Rustam Diodore, investor, license holder, and extremely high net worth individual. And you are? My name is Harry. I'm a detective. Pleasure to meet you, Harry, he says warmly. Public service is a noble cause. How did you become so rich? The man chuckles. To be perfectly blunt, I inherited my fortune from my grandmother, who herself was an extremely high net worth individual back in Grad. All I did was take her fortune and invest it prudently. Believe it or not, it takes more than a bit of skill not to blow a vast fortune on sailing boats, bad choices, an unsupervised state policy. And blow. Blow being the drug, I think, maybe. An unsupervised state policy. You blow it on unsupervised state policy. <laughs> unsupervised by him, mind you, by the way. That, that, that's the implication. State policy is accountable to him. Um, What's it like being an extremely high net worth individual? The man exhales with a whistle. I gotta tell you, at first, being rich is a lot of work. You've got to work hard because everything's so darn expensive. You know, prices increase exponentially at this income level. But then, once you've reached my position, it's nearly impossible for me not to make money. My assets are so diversified that I'm bound to come out ahead no matter what. Some of my lower net worth friends say to me, but doesn't that take all the fun out of it? And I tell them, not really. And now we have political options. Capital accumulation is its own reward. That sounds libertarian to me. Um, which means it would be... I don't... We still don't have access to the fourth... I don't... I, I remember seeing them in the game. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, yeah. See, it's much better. So that sounds ultra-liberal to me. And I'm trying to be moralist, which is liberal. Uh, and then uh, we have fascist and communist. Let's let's see what we can guess out of this. Don't you think that you should use your great wealth for the glory of your fatherland? That is the fascist. Uh, and also fatherland there. Is that how Germans say? I always, I don't I never know. 
I think it might be a reference, because motherland, I believe is how Russians say it, because, you know, the gender of, of the land is, is different depending on, on the language and the culture and all that. And then you're a thief, that's the communist. It's great that you have done so well. That's the one, yes. Pull yourself by the bootstraps sort of thing. You're, it's great that you've done so well for yourself, but don't you think you owe some of that wealth to the rest of society? Sure. And they benefit when I buy things to stimulate the economy. Do you know how many jobs it takes to build and maintain a racing yacht? Uh, hundreds? Dozens, at least. Of course, in the future, it'll all be automated. But my point is this. He says, jabbing his finger into the air a bit. Every man gets what he earns. It's the height of tyranny to take that from him. Yes, the height of tyranny. He definitely got what he earned. For sure, absolutely. Man, being a high net worth individual sounds great. It is truly. It's almost entirely carefree. He nods. It really leaves you time to better yourself spiritually. Oh yes, that's the other thing that this game is satirizing. Uh, because he's so rich, he's spiritually better than others. Because of course he is. He has so much time to better himself spiritually. Hey, hey, all this talk about money has made you lose the thread. What is going on with the light in this place? That's what you need to ask him about. I do need to ask him about that, don't I? Um, but I think I'm out of time for the day, so uh, I should get back to my investigation. Thanks for your time. Why go so soon? I feel we've so much more to talk about. Ah, well, until next time. Don't worry, I'll come back. But for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and uh, this... Yeah, the money is sort of weird. I still have my old one. It didn't used to be like that. I think this is a bug. I think it's supposed to be your money changing. I think so. Either way, this has been Disco Elysium. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.